हाय गाइस वेलकम टू द चैनल आई फाइनली हैव अजीत सर विद मी आप बहुत सारे बच्चों ने रिक्वेस्ट करा था कि हमें सर का एक इंटरेक्शन चाहिए सो अजीत सर थैंक यू सो वेरी मच फॉर गिविंग सम टाइम एंड लॉट ऑफ लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट आउट देयर वुड लव टू हियर यू माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन टू यू इज जीएम हैज बीन डूइंग फैंटास्टिकली गुड देयर लॉट ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स लेफ्ट यू नो न्यू आई एम्स एंड बेबी आई एम जॉइनिंग यू हियर आई वुड लव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट व्हाट्स द सीक्रेट सॉर्स ऑफ दिस ग्रोथ स्टोरी एंड यू हैव बीन पिलर ऑफ इट यू नो लाइक you are the man who has been helping jm to grow you know, so well so would love to hear that sir there is there is no single secret sauce <laughs> okay. if it's an education institution what is important i think there are really three things that are important yes sir first part that is very important is having fantastic quality faculty mm. so what what i decided is we have to go and bring the best people right so sir. today if you look at our entire faculty we have a large number of faculty so as a private business school mm. we are as a in stand alone private business school we have more faculty than any other stand alone private business school even the top ones wow so we decided that so today the number of total number of faculty we have full time mm. are over 80 closer to 85 and these come That's from all the top these are phd's from you know i am ahmedabad mm. bangalore mm. lucknow mm. indore xlri mdi wow and we don't only take from there we also mm. take people who have from may not be these uh, kind mm. of pedigree phd programs but mm. uh you know well published outstanding mm. teachers so mm. first out of the three is top mm. quality faculty okay the second out of the three is great ecosystem in terms of industry and government connect mm. so therefore mm. that is important no because we are not an academic discipline we are a practice discipline they were making sense. sure that mm. to make people who are ready for whatever mm. is cutting edge mm. you need to have in variety of ways so tie ups with companies mm. in mm. curriculum development every program has a high powered board of studies wow. which will have industry people academic people and stuff like that coming in nice. have for some cutting edge courses have mm. industry people come and do those cutting edge courses not as visiting faculty but a tie up with some of the cutting edge companies so oh, that's where the difference comes in like lot right. of these schools would have visiting faculty but you went for yeah. a tie up yeah and of course nice. the visiting faculty guest speakers and you know events and stuff like that got that got that fantastic so so you know that's the second hmm and of course and the third part hmm. is making sure that your academic infrastructure yes is world class yes i second that and therefore what we do is anybody comes into the campus and goes around mm. you have a beautiful mm. campus yes sir but that's not that's not the beauty of the campus the beauty of the mm. campus is the fact that we have both bloomberg as well as thomson reuters now called you know icon mm. ha, ha, ha. We, and in when whatever you know mm. so if you're saying marketing students mm. see what is the best infrastructure for marketing students in terms of databases library faculty mm. certifications mm. all of that Perfect. so these three pillars if you get it right mm. automatically you will find recruiters will come placements will be good absolutely automatically you will find word will get out to students students yes, who are here you talk to our students they talk very positively about the institute mm. because you have top faculty mm. you have outstanding infrastructure and facilities yes. and you get to interact a lot with the best in industry and government true so once they talk positive incoming students what they will say is i think it's a good place so ultimately true. all this if you get good quality students plus mm. we have this infrastructure mm. i think that's the recipe for success in academic institute awesome and i i and i second that point i have um, you know i had an opportunity to actually see the financial lab and you have the bloomberg setup and just to give you guys a little idea if you at all really want to make it to the investment banking companies in india the bloomberg understanding is the must thing these days and if somebody teaches you that on the campus that's the best thing because that makes you eligible to at least you know go and get, get the interview done so i i do second that sir my second question to you would be sir as a director what you would look into a candidate to kind of you know give them the admission in gim or probably what is that ideal candidate would look like for an tier 1 sort of a b school in the country including gim no doubt superb yeah so so i think again there are simple two hmm. things to look at hmm. one is how passionate are these people yes right hmm. so what you really want is you don't want somebody coming to your institute or your hmm. classroom hmm. who says at the end i want a good job True. <laughs> now, now, I mean, everybody will get a good job at the end. True, true, true. But what you basically want is mm. you want people who will have that sense of purpose to say that mm. this is what I want to do. So anything mm. it might be, I want to do investment banking. I'm passionate mm. about brands. Mm. I want mm. to change the world. I want mm. to make India the top country in the world. Mm. You want people who come in like that because mm. those are the people who are. If you are passionate, mm. you'll work hard. True. So I can give an example for mm. you know I'm passionate about branding. I'm passionate about. access making you know access to healthcare hmm. now therefore in this hmm. this area 
nobody has to tell me to read nobody has mm. tell me to watch nobody mm. has, has to tell me that you know if there's an important person go and meet the person mm. because i'm crazily passionate about these things i will do mm. it and same mm. with my students mm. the students who are passionate mm. otherwise what a student looking at you know what kind of a company acha sa job chahiye acchi si salary chahiye <laughs> so so mm. the first thing that you really want is mm. a person who has the kind of passion mm. the second is see what are we training for we are not training people for jobs we are training sense. people for purposes for what they want to do in life and what impact they have right sir so you. as i see is what what i see a student in the class i am hmm. not hoping that this guy is going to get placed hmm. and be a manager in a company i am hmm. hoping that 20 years later this person will have an impact either in a company hmm. or in hmm. civil society in government somewhere right hmm. Mm, and therefore mm, what you need for people who will be leaders like that in the future mm, is initiative taking true you don't become a leader by somebody telling you what to do absolutely not so what you looking for is what are the initiative these people have taken so mm, far mm, so what have they gone out of their way to do so if they have done that in the past mm, they're likely mm, to do it in the future absolutely but there are a set of people who feel that mm, sab jab time aayega tab karenge tab karenge <laughs> so that's not the kind of kid what you want to say is right even right. wherever i was in however small a capacity i was mm-hmm. i took initiative mm-hmm. so if i was part of a cricket team i took mm-hmm. an initiative to do something better mm-hmm. if i was part of a music band i took initiative mm-hmm. in the in i was passionate about physics let's say mm-hmm. i took initiative to read books that were not on the curriculum mm-hmm. all those are hallmarks of a good student. spark spark mm. for leadership so these are the two things i would look for fantastic no wonder why jim is doing so good when it comes to sales and marketing and branding because the leader is like that so amazing sir my next question would be now we've been you know listening these kind of things that there is a little bit slow down in the market you know when it comes to jobs or ctc yeah. something like that i would like to understand that given a chance or if there is a student what mba grads should do in the coming months so that their chances of getting placed at a very well level are high so if you can advise something yeah so so i think it's it's an extension of what i just said taking hmm. initiative okay. so so if hmm. you ask me which sector has potential hmm. right my hmm. answer is every sector has potential if you have a great candidate it's hmm. true hmm. it's true that there'll be more jobs in a sector versus b sector versus c sector that's always going to be there yeah that's yeah. going to be there and that will change from time to time somewhere mm. technology will become important ai will be important mm. somewhere mm. else hr will be important somewhere mm. else you'll find something as digital marketing is going to be important mm. and therefore that varies from time to time mm. having mm. said that mm. in each of these sectors even the one that is in the downturn you're looking mm. for outstanding people true and therefore anybody mm. who's aiming for excellence if you're mm. aiming for excellence you're taking initiative towards it mm. I think that's a place where you know you are you are full proof mm. against industry ups and downs. True, true, true. Makes the sense. The moment you mm. are saying that I am also ran, mm. then you mm. find you are going to be affected by industry trends. Mm. But the moment you are saying I am top of my game, mm. it doesn't mm. matter if you are in a complete slump. Also, mm. Mm. this is one. The second mm. is relative to anywhere else in the world. Yeah, that's the slump important. is the lowest in India right now. Right, sir. India just yesterday huh. we became a four trillion dollar economy. Yeah, just yesterday, right? True that, true that. Yeah, yeah saying, absolutely. If you look at Europe, you look at anywhere else. That in worst situation actually. It is their slump that is affecting yes. us in indirect demand. Yes. Therefore, yes. the slump is going to be slightly higher in IT, ITS, which is dependent mm. on Western economies, mm. Mm. as compared mm. to something that's based on domestic consumption. Indigenous economy. And therefore, those Fantastic. who take the initiative. So, in the mm. initiative, just to take an example, right? Mm. If there's just one candidate who says. Mm. Mm. i am razor focused on i want to get into let's say something beverages mm. and i like brand management mm. therefore i am going to read a lot on beverages and brand management and let's say the average student says mm. job chahiye marketing chalega finance chalega so what <laughs> what the second candidate mm-hmm. does mm-hmm. is spreads their 100% of time mm. on assuming they are working hard mm. on 20 things so let's say mm. 5 to 10% each mm. but this razor focus chap yes. is going to spend 80% of their time on mm. one sector mm. one kind of a profile mm. and therefore when when the interviewer comes mm. they would know every beverage company every brand they would know details that nobody else competing with them will know Makes sense. and therefore they are going to be able to crack so my my question here is focus initiative mm. taking hard work mm. Mm. you do these three you are recession proof it will be fine awesome perfect answer sir uh, i have a small follow up question on this 
So we just talked about the slump. Do you think it will affect Indian B schools or it will affect Indian market? Hey, will it affect? Absolutely. I mean, okay. Know, Hmm. If there's a slump in the economy, True. ultimately we are catering to the economy. Yes, sir. Only as I said, hmm. just like I said, for an individual, you can become recession proof. Hmm. Same will happen with institutions. So if there's a hmm. slump, hmm. you know what's going to happen? Hmm. Institutes that are outside the top 50 hmm. will feel the brunt of the slump. Hmm. Those who are outside the top 500 institutes, hmm. it will be very difficult for anybody to Absolutely. get placed. Absolutely. But hmm. I'm Ahmedabad, Bangalore. Calcutta, mm. you know, GIM, mm. SPGEN, mm. Mm. whatever, all of us institutes, mm. they're going to be affected lesser. Right. It's because what we are doing is we are training mm. people to be the best. Mm. So, what mm. you're saying is if you had, let's say, a million jobs mm. and they become now 800,000 jobs, mm. a slump doesn't mean a million jobs become zero. Right. A million is going to become 800,000. Very well said. Very well said. And therefore, 800,000 is still there. No, there's still a very large market. Absolutely. The number of MBAs who are going to be recruited next year, hmm. Hmm. even in a slump, hmm. is going to be over 100,000. Hmm. <laughs> and the right. number of MBAs that will come from the top, hmm. let's say, 20 institutes, hmm. is not even going to be 10,000. True. 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 So, That's if you're good, you I have don't think the slump will affect. Fantastic. Great, sir. Thank you so very much uh, for giving some time. Lovely energy. I'm so Fantastic. impressed. And I'm very Thank sure you. Goa is known not only for happening places, but uh, soon Goa will be known for management education also because of GM, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. And uh, thanks a lot, sir. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. My pleasure.